hi guys and welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to install Rocky Linux which is uh, similar to CentOS 8 so I'm going to install Rocky Linux on VMware Workstation 15 Pro when we open VMware Workstation uh, this is the screen we get so we click on create new virtual machine we use the first option then second option by the way guys uh, if you want to learn about uh, VMware workstation and functions you can see my previous video introduction to Linux in that video I have explained about the virtual machine and about the VMware workstation all the options so you can learn from there uh, for now we are installing uh, rock Linux so we will uh, select from this option we will select Linux sent to us uh, we have uh, we don't have rock Linux but as it is a, a Fedora distribution as well so we can choose sent to us 764 bit click next and we can give the name Rocky Rocky we can give dash LINS Linux I have set up a folder for all the VMs on D partition I will go there and my VMs is here and select this folder Click next 20 GB. We will give the uh, storage space uh, of 20 GB, which will be more than enough. Click next, finish. Okay, then we will go to edit virtual machine settings. From memory, we will assign 2 GB. From processors, I'm going to assign two core, and from CD DVD, we will select the ISO which if, which I have downloaded earlier because it will take a lot of time. Again, we'll go to D. Over here, I have the image ISO. Double click on it, and that's it. Click OK. Now we will power on this virtual machine. We will click on install Rocky Linux 8. The setup has been started. We can maximize the screen as well from here. Okay, language and keyboard, we leave the default, US English, click continue. We go here to make the Linux file system partitions, we click here custom, then we click done. Over here guys, uh, we are not going into LVM, 
as uh, I will be making uh, another video where I will explain the uh, types of links par partitions and uh, the links file system. So for this video, we are going to select standard partition and we click here create uh, them automatically and as you can see the partition has been made from file system we will select txt4 txt4 this is called the root partition guys so we will select txt4 over here also and swap swap Partition is just like a page file system on Windows. Done. It's asking us to format the partition with the Linux file system. We accept the changes. Then we will go to software. From software, we will do nothing here, guys. Uh, we will select server with GUI and we will not select anything on the right pane. We will install later on when, when we will configure servers in uh, later videos. So for now, click done. Now we will set the password for root. Root as you know, I told in my previous, vi previous video also that uh, root is just like administrator in Windows. As this is a test machine. I am putting the easy password but if this machine is in the production you need to put a strong password for root. Then we will leave everything default and we will go to begin installation. As you can see guys uh, the installation has started. and. And I'm going to pause the video because it will take a couple of minutes and we'll resume once the installation is done. Okay, guys, as you can see, the installation is completed. Now we can click the reboot button to start the Linux. We click the licensing information option. We select I accept. Done. Then we click finish configuration. We close the wizard. Okay guys, 
we have installed the Broca Linux and uh, in the next video I will show you how to install Alma Linux